Bremerton High School students are returning to in-person classes this morning after COVID and other illnesses led to staff shortages last week. Yeah, officials say just as many other districts have experienced, there just aren't enough substitute teachers to fill all those gaps. Fox 13's Dan Griffin live at Bremerton High School with uh, some of the lingering troubles when it comes to COVID. Hi, Dan. Hey, good morning to you both. Yeah, it seems it's not quite over yet. Bremerton school officials say that they are following state guidance when it comes to deciding whether to do remote learning or to return to in-person classes, which they will be doing today. Health experts with Kitsap County say they've been working closely with superintendents, school administrators, and COVID teams to make the best decisions while helping schools learn best practices to protect students and staff during outbreaks. Last week, they said five schools and three districts reported outbreaks, leading to teachers calling out sick because of COVID-19 and other illnesses. State guidance says the district must continue providing students with access to learning, whether quarantined or learning remotely, and it must be synchronous at least 70% of the time. Students are mixed about going remote, with some saying it doesn't work for them and others who really prefer it. But it is a delicate balance because COVID-19 outbreaks are still happening despite our position in the pandemic. Absolutely, cases are going up. Uh, we're seeing that not only with respect to illnesses, but additionally, uh, we're seeing a drift up in terms of uh, hospitalizations as well. Now, schools have stepped up testing options to help get a handle on any potential outbreaks. Some have contracted or contracted rather with private companies to provide those tests on site. But again, after evaluating students and the staff situation, the district says it will resume in class, in person classes here today. So we'll be here to talk with parents and students as the day gets started. And we'll bring that to you throughout the morning. But for now, uh, we are live. Dan Griffin, Fox 13 News. Back to you.